Hi, Carson. I heard from my son about what's going on soon. He's going to be gone for two months on a business trip out of the state, right? I want to say that we all knew that he'd have a large trip at some point for the company, but... I was hoping that it wouldn't happen until your daughter became a bit older. Hi, Pam. You have that right, he'll be out of the house for two long months. And this is far sooner than I had anticipated for him going on a long trip like that. Well, he told me that during his time away from home, he wants me to be around in case you need anything from me. So if you have any questions or needs, let me know and I'll help out. And even if you don't have anything you need help with, you can always talk to me just for conversation. I'm a retired mother now, so it's always on my mind to step back into my shoes again to help someone care for themselves or their kids. Thank you, Pam, but I don't think him being out of the house will change much of anything for me. I'm still going to be able to get all my errands and chores done while my daughter's in school. And I'll be out of the house sometimes to work my part-time job, so I won't feel too overwhelmed by everything at home. Well, that's true that you'll be busy. I'm sure that my son will be a bit worried while he's away, but now that he's out of the house, you and I can spend some more time together. <laughs> Maybe all of us girls, including Nancy, could take a day to go out to lunch and do a little shopping. I think that these next two months would be the perfect time to do something like that. That's exactly right. <laughs> I'm sure having him around is the best for me, but it'll be nice to not have to worry about making dinner for him for a little while. <laughs> uh, please don't tell him I said that. <laughs> I'm not going to say a word to him about that. <laughs> I know that you'll do your best taking care of the house and your daughter as well as your job. But during times like these, it's best that you spread your wings a little. Uh, but I'm sure that your daughter will be a little lonely with him gone. That girl loves to go out a lot and play with my son, right? Yeah. Those two love to go fishing and camping together a lot. But I hate bugs, so I usually don't tag along with them. Even though she's a girl, she really loves to do things that men normally are interested in. She's in third grade now, but she's always out with all the boys in her class playing in the mud during recess, and she'll come home looking absolutely filthy. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just proof that she's being raised very well. I know that, but... By this time, most girls are getting into fashion and makeup and will start talking about boys that they have crushes on. Yet recently, she asked my husband and I to get a pet lizard to keep in her room. She really is taking after her father, isn't she? <laughs> I want to keep letting my daughter do the things she likes, but... But having a reptile in this house is where I'm drawing the line with her. Well, as a mother, you'll have things that you don't like her doing, and that's all a part of raising kids. But I was so happy to have a little girl. I'd have really liked it if she started to get more invested into cute things, like dressing up and playing with dolls. But in this day and age, things like someone's sex and whatnot don't really matter when it comes to what one likes to do. She's a very bright and cheerful girl, and I think that is all one can ask for when seeing their little girl. I think that you and my son are doing a great job of raising her. Thank you for mentioning that. It makes me really happy to hear that from a fellow mother. I really do mean everything I've said. And to be honest, kids will not always turn out the way their parents hope for. <laughs> That's right. I can't really agree with her having a pet lizard in our house, but as long as she's outside with things like that, I'll let her continue to play with them. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I have to head to the supermarket here soon. Oh, it's already getting to that time of day, isn't it? I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time today talking to you. Don't worry about it, Pam. It makes me feel a whole lot better knowing that you're there to offer me some help while my husband is away. I'll try my best not to rely on you too much, but if something does happen here, I'll let you know. Please, and thank you, Carson. And I'll do whatever I can to make sure that you and your girl are okay. Carson, are things going all right over there? Do you think that you can talk for a moment? Or are you guys in the middle of dinner right now? Good evening, Pam. I'm still preparing things for dinner, so I can chat a little. Nancy is still working on her homework, so we aren't having dinner for some time yet. Is she doing okay? 
Yeah, she's been acting the same way she always does. Well, actually, I'm wanting to talk with you about something related to her. Recently, she's been calling me a lot when it's getting close to our bedtimes. Um, you're saying that Nancy is the one calling you? Yes, and at first I thought she was just calling because she had some free time to talk. But it's been happening a lot recently, and so I'm starting to become a little worried about her. What has Nancy been talking to you about when she calls? I want to know if she's giving you a reason for why she's calling at night. Well, I haven't heard from her directly what the reason is. I was wondering if the reason was something that she didn't want me asking about. But I just thought that it was a bit odd of her to be calling me so often late at night. I did ask her once, kind of with a lighter tone, but she told me it was because you were taking a bath and she had time to talk. That makes sense to me. Recently, I've been in the bath a lot, reading my book or watching movies on my phone to relax. And I'm able to do all of that because my husband is away, and Nancy is at that age now where she can handle herself for short periods of time. But maybe she's been getting a little lonely because of that. I'm sorry for causing all of that to affect you. No, you don't have to worry about that. But I really am wondering if the reason for her calling me so often is because you're in the bathtub relaxing. There are times when she feels she can't hang up on me and the call goes on for hours. And so I'm feeling a sense of anxiety radiating off of her when she calls. That's probably because she really loves talking to you, Pam. And I think that she's just really been wanting to talk to you and hear your voice. Right now, she's been having a great time at school. Then I guess I was just overthinking things a little. This week, we've been practicing letting her take baths on her own. And so maybe that's been a bit too exhausting for her since she has to sit in the bathroom alone. I'll make sure from now on that I get her out of the bath sooner so she doesn't feel as worried about being alone. I think by doing that, she'll have more time to go about her business and not have time to always call. She's still at that age where she needs someone around her to keep her company. And unfortunately, my son is still out of town, so this is pretty tough on her. I'm sure that's also playing a part in her wanting to talk with you more. But from now on, I'll try a little harder to reduce the time she's allowed on her phone and to make sure that she's not always calling you. Y you don't have to tell her to stop calling me. And I feel you telling her to stop calling me will make it harder for her to call people in the future. I think I really was just feeling worried about nothing this time. Are you sure? Well, I'll still try a bit harder not to leave her alone as much. So I think when she's in the tub or when I'm taking a bath, we're still around one another to keep each other company. All right. But I'm sure that you still want to take time to have some alone time, so... When she has a day off school or it's the weekend, you're more than welcome to have her stay with me. Thank you for offering that. I'll work with Nancy for a bit here, and when things with her have settled down a bit, ask me again to have her over to your place. Grammy? Oh, Nancy, it's been a little while. Yep. Have you eaten dinner and everything already? I already ate. What did you have for dinner today? I had chicken noodle soup to eat. Oh, that sounds so tasty right now. Your Grammy's been having troubles eating soup lately because it makes her belly hurt. Uh, why? Because when you get old like me, you start to have problems eating lots of oil. And you know that chicken noodle soup that Grammy makes has lots of oil in it, right? I didn't know that. But I think what I ate for dinner would be all right for you to eat, Grammy. It was chicken noodle soup from a box. Oh, so your mom didn't hand make the soup this time? Well, sometimes it's nice to have something light like those boxed chicken noodle soups. Well, sometimes it's okay to eat it. But I've been eating it every day now, so I'm getting sick of it. I bet that eating it every day would be very boring. 
Uh, don't tell Mom about any of this. If you said that to her, she'd get angry at me. Don't worry, Nancy. I won't say anything about this. Hey, Grammy? Um, I, I have something to ask you. Oh, what could it be? Do you have something that you want your Grammy to buy for you? I, I don't want anything right now. Tomorrow I'm going on a field trip at school, so I want you to make me a lunchbox. Hmm? Your mom isn't going to make one for you to take? No. Why won't she make one for you? Is it that mom has become sick recently? N no. Mom hasn't... Mom hasn't been home for a week now. So I don't think she knows about the field trip that I have tomorrow. What? Grammy, please keep this a secret from my mom. I don't want her to hear about any of this. I won't tell her a thing, but... But can you tell me what you mean when you say that she hasn't been home for a week? She told me she has work and will be out of the house. And said that she didn't want me telling you or Dad. She said that if I said anything about her, that Dad would never come back home. Your mom has been at work. Your mom doesn't work a lot each week, right? I, I don't know. That's right. You wouldn't know anything about that kind of stuff. So right now you're home alone, Nancy? Yes. And when you would call me a lot on the phone, was that because Mom wasn't home? So you called me because you were lonely? Yes. Do you know when your mom is supposed to come home? She said next Sunday. So another three days from now, then. All right, then. Grammy is going to make you that lunchbox to take on the field trip tomorrow. I'll make sure that it's really yummy just for you, okay? Really? Thank you, Grammy! Hey, Nancy. Do you want to come and stay the night at Grammy's house until your mom comes home? Uh, but... If mom knows about this, dad will never come back home. You'll be fine, Nancy. You can come over here as a secret, and your mom will never know. And I'm telling you, Nancy, that your dad will come home no matter what. Really? Has your Grammy ever lied to you before? No, you never lie. Okay, I want to go to Grammy's house. It has been really scary staying here all by myself. I'm sure it has been really scary for you. Being alone when you're young is scary and lonely. So asking someone to help you is not a bad thing to do, Nancy. Now I'm going to drive your papa's car to your house and get you. I can't wait. I'll wait for you. Um, Pam? Have you gotten any calls or texts from Nancy lately? Hmm? Why do you ask? Oh, I was just a little interested is all. I just wanted to see if she was still causing you any trouble or not on your end. Nancy has never caused me any sort of trouble before, though, Carson. So then she hasn't called or texted you at all? The last time she messaged me was last week on that Thursday. Is that so? Understood, and thank you for letting me know that. Could this mean that you're finally getting around to looking for your daughter? Huh? Well, if it's her you're worried about, she's at my house with me. And so I'd like you to explain everything that you've been up to to me. Excuse me, Pam? Actually, my close friend has been in a serious accident and was on the brink of death. So I had to head back to my hometown to go be with her. And why didn't you bring Nancy along with you if you were going to be gone for that long? I had been planning on coming right back after seeing how my friend was doing. But then when I was there in person, time just started to pass by without me noticing. Well, if that was happening with you, then you should have told me or your husband about what was going on. What were you thinking, leaving a little girl who's only in third grade all alone at home for a whole week? 
Uh, I'm sorry about that. I knew that one of you would get really mad at me for leaving the house for a bit, even if it was for a few hours. And I started to worry that you'd begin to hate me for doing something like that, so I was hesitant to tell anyone. But the one who was most worried was Nancy. And another thing, I know that you did not go back to your hometown, Carson. Did you end up calling my parents and asking them about me? I sure did. Well, I didn't go back to my parents' house, though. I was staying at my best friend's house that whole time. Stop trying to hide things from me. I'm getting tired of you trying to make your lie even more complicated than it has to be. I know all about how you packed up a large suitcase full of clothes and everything and left the house for one whole week without Nancy. And when I saw you come back to your house with another person to be dropped off, I got a good look at their face in the car. What? And as they pulled out of the driveway and took off, I got a great photo of their license plate and I'm looking it up right now. So I think you know how all of this is going to end, right? Do you know what we're going to want to say to you? I'm sorry about that, Pam. That was really not something I wanted you to know about. You should be apologizing to your husband and daughter, not me. Does my husband already know about this? Yes. Well, you're wrong. Let me explain the truth to you. For just a bit there, I became too relaxed with myself while my husband was gone. But know that I do really love my husband and Nancy with all my heart. I'm sorry for what you had to learn about, but please forgive me. You had an affair. And not just that, but you also left Nancy home alone a bunch of other times to go on vacation. Do you think I'm okay with all of that? I did not have an affair. Do you really want to make me spit out all the facts to you, Carson? The man that was in that car that brought you home was a man your age. But it wasn't just the two of us that were together. Well, then can you show me proof that there were others with you guys at all times? Well, um... There were some other people with us that I had only just met. Well, before we continue talking about you having an affair, let's talk about the main problem here. And that's that you left your little girl home all alone for days at a time. And all those times that she had called me a few weeks ago was when you weren't even in the house with her, right? And after talking with you about her calling me all the time, you went and yelled at her to never call me again, right? I'm sorry... If it was just that you had been having an affair with another man, then I'd let this all be you and my son's problem to solve. But you left Nancy home all alone to go out with another man. And not just for a day or two, but one time for a whole seven days. I am not going to forgive you for something as irresponsible as that. I don't think you're ever going to get to call yourself her mother ever again after this. What has my husband said about this? I think you should know what he's said more than anyone right now, right? What do you think a father that loves his daughter so much would be saying right now? I don't want to get a divorce, though. I was just going out to play with some other men. You left your little girl at home all by herself for days to go let other men have fun with you and think that we wouldn't get upset with you? Pam, I promise that I'll never go behind neither my husband nor my daughter's back again. So please try and help them understand what's happened here. I really love my daughter so much and think that she's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I've never meant to leave her behind before and I don't ever want to get a divorce and lose my rights to her. You told Nancy that if she told anyone about you or about the fact that she was left home alone, that her dad would never come back. That's how you chose to threaten the girl you say you love so much? I never meant that as a threat, though. That was just me asking her to do me a favor. You told her the worst thing that she never wanted to hear from you, 
and that was that her father could never come home if she talked about you. I'm telling you right now that you have left your daughter behind by choosing to scar her so that you could go off and have sex with other men. When children are at their youngest, they are the most vulnerable to being hurt by their parents' actions. And those scars will never heal. I I'm sorry. I really messed up a lot this time. So that's why this week-long trip was going to be my last time, because I knew that what I was doing was stupid. I'm telling you the truth right now, so please believe me. I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth after what stupid things you've gone and pulled. And that's because you lied to me about all of it. I have not. I'm telling you that not all of this has been a lie. Please, Pam, give me one more chance to make all of this right. You are the one that made yourself lose all the respect you had gained from me. You would apologize to me for any of the troubles that Nancy was causing me when she called over and over again. But you forgot to apologize for all the troubles you were causing us. At this point, you can go ahead and run off with whatever guy you'd like that isn't my son. You're the only person that's willing to lie to your own child and then lie to her grandma and father, right? So you can go ahead and live a life outside my family. After that, Carson and my son got a divorce, and in that divorce, my son got full custody of Nancy. And so now he's back home with me, and we all take care of Nancy. This is something that I only learned about after the divorce, but apparently Carson was with other men for well over a year before we found out. And the main man that she was fooling around with happened to be her boss from her part-time job. But he wasn't the only man she had been with during that time, as there were four other men that she would go out with when her husband was away for business. And we also learned later that what she meant by there being other people with her and the men that she went out with for a week was that she had been with her boss and another couple that had all participated in sexual activities together. It was both very disgusting, but also relieving to find out all of this about her. Because she would only ever go out with these guys while my son was on business trips, so both him and I never knew a thing about Carson being out of the house. And had she not left the house for over a week, leaving Nancy on her own, we may never have known about what Carson was doing with all those other men. But I guess this time Carson became a little too daring and wanted to be around her boss and other men a bit more than before. And having left the house multiple times while leaving Nancy at home all alone, I can't believe that she never saw how lonely it was making her daughter. I think all of that really created a lot of scars for Nancy, but I'm so thankful that she had the courage to tell me about it so that my son and I could take action. And as for Carson and her boss, he apparently had a wife himself that he was still around. And so, in the end, Carson was forced to not only pay a settlement to my son, but also had to do the same to the wife of the man she thought was worth having an affair with. And of course, since my son got full custody of Nancy, Carson will be left paying child support a long time now until Nancy turns 18. So for the next 10 years or so, she's going to live life under all the troubles she's caused herself. And hopefully while being in deep regret about all of it. I hope that length of time is enough to teach her that she never really cared about her family and should just stay the whore that she is for the rest of her life. Nancy was really sad at the time of the divorce, but over just a couple of months, brightness began to fill her eyes again. And right now, she's back to being the happy girl we love as she runs off to school every day. And after the amount of time she was left home all alone with nobody to keep her company, whenever there is someone home with her now, she's so excited. And as for my son and I, we are so happy to know that there will be no more family around her that are willing to lie and threaten her. I will do everything I can to make sure that my granddaughter doesn't have to relive those memories. So for now, I'm going to make sure that her and I are always around each other. And that she has someone she can count on to help her when she needs it. 
and in the place of her missing mother, I'll be there to give her the love she needs to grow up strong and cheerful.'